Hey, welcome to question 24 of our new City Catechism series. Question 24 is, why was it necessary for Christ the Redeemer to die? We've talked in previous weeks about how the Redeemer Jesus died for our sins. He swapped his sinless, perfect life for our sinful one on the cross. But did he actually have to die? Our answer this week. Christ dies willingly in our place to deliver us from the power and the penalty of sin and bring us back to God. Because of our sin, we deserve to be punished. And that punishment for sin is death. We are separated from God because of our sin. But Jesus loved us so much that he didn't want us to be punished for our sin. He wanted us to be with him forever, willing to do whatever it took. So to take our punishment, our sin, for our sin, he died on the cross for us. Jesus died on the cross for us so that we can have a relationship with God again. Why was it necessary for Christ the Redeemer to die? Christ dies willingly in our place to deliver us from the power and penalty of our sin, of sin, and bring us back to God. In the Bible, in a book called Colossians, it says, at one time you were separated from God. You were God's enemies in your mind because of the evil things you, you were against God. But now Christ has made you God's again. And he did this by his death while he was in the body, that he might bring you into God's presence. Because of Jesus' death, we can be brought back to God. The only way we can be brought back to God from our sins, from death, is through Jesus the Redeemer. By Jesus dying for us, we can have a relationship with God again. Sometimes this is called being reconciled. We are reconciled to God again through Jesus' death. How amazing is that? Why was it necessary? Is it necessary for Christ, the Redeemer, to die? Christ dies willingly in our place to deliver us from the power and penalty of sin and bring us back to God. See you next week for next week's question.